Oh, we're back. We're actually back this time. But we're not, uh, not black this Oops, I was thinking about the screen. Tell me what were you just saying there? Uh, not black, but I'm not talking about anything besides the screen I was staring at on my thing because it was I was staring at a black screen and I was like, meow. Maybe my capture failed. I was thinking about that. Not much else. With people's uh already bleeding anuses today. It seems that everybody's anus has been pre pre uh pre bled before they interacted with me. So the butt hurt is fucking real. The butt hurt that these people are feeling super real. They're like, My butt hurt levels cannot be fucked with I'm the most busted I am the most butt hurt person of all time. Do not try to compare or contest my butt hurt levels or else you will say the true power of being butt hurt. Tim, what are you saying? I'm saying y'all motherfuckers are butt hurt like a bunch of kids already who ain't never had done nothing in their lives. They sit around, had everything handed to them. Y'all ain't earned nothing. Y'all ain't done nothing. You get upset like a bunch of chillins and y'all should avoid sword fighting. That's what I'm saying. Because, man, if I could say words to you to upset you and get you to attack me in sword fighting, I will. And then I'll cut your arms off. And then I'll cut your head off. And then I'll have won a sword fight. Easily. By just words. The overhead attack. A lot of people do that double hand overhead attack. That's a good way to lose both your arms, Sonny Jim. Especially if you're going against me. I'm not going to just cut at your arms while you bring down that slow ass attack and suck in and cut the shit out your arm. Or just stab you. You know, lunge stab if you're running at me. There's a lot of really easy ways to deal with that. And by really easy ways, I mean they're all really easy. And I won't get harmed for nothing. What did Demetrius Johnson say after he fought the... Forget the dude's name that he fought. He's fighting Joseph Benavides next. He's like, Oh, how I look pretty as a motherfucker? I'll be coming out looking pretty as a motherfucker. Y'all ain't seen no bruises, no cuts, nothing up on me. I'll just be like, Look, I cut that motherfucker. Because I pissed him off with words. And then he tried to come in with the overhead swing. And... I, I killed his ass. What else about it? His ass got killed. Because his ass was ignorant. But I still face it. Educate your ignorant ass. Tell me what's ignorant. It's an ignorant way of saying ignorant. Motherfucker is ignorant. I'm one ignorant motherfucker. Yeah. Ignant motherfucker. Timmy, what are you gonna do? Bring Haywa to the peoples. It's Haywa, it's Japanese for peace. How are you gonna bring peace? Death! No, joke. That was jokes. I don't understand your sense of humor. You don't have to. I don't give a fuck if you don't understand my sense of humor. Ever thought about that? These jokes are for Tim. Nobody understands my sense of humor. I mean, some people kind of get it. They still don't understand why I do, why I say the things I say. I'm usually referencing something in the lowest form. In the lowest form of, you know, humor. The, hey, you guys remember that? That's a thing. Yeah. I know it's a low, it's lowbrow and shitty. 
but whatever. We're gonna be building for 15 straight minutes here. And this is gonna be boring as fuck. Oh, look at all those mistakes. Alright, whatever. I think it's funny that people. No, I was watching more Minecraft videos. I was just laughing. I was laughing and laughing and laughing. This so guy's giving people advice as I had this time. Uh. Never. It's for making bullshit houses. Then again. Yeah, I just came around. His build video came around after stair blocks. Stair, stairs block. Let's talk. Let's do tales of old timey Minecraft. Tales from old timey Minecraft. We're gonna actually gonna. You know what? I I just had a revolutionary new idea. We're gonna try this as a short Minecraft let's play. We're just gonna finish out this. We're gonna. I'm just gonna tell you guys one tale of one tale of old timey Minecraft. And by the time I'm done, this video will be done. It's the tale of stairs in old timey Minecraft. Back in old timey Minecraft, stair blocks were the thing. We had steps and half steps, and you'd use the half steps and you'd just make things out of them. Yeah, back in old timey Minecraft, when I was building, uh. Well, I wasn't playing survival. When I wasn't playing survival, because survival wasn't a thing yet, you just floated around and everything was creative mode. And sometimes survival was a thing. And it was in the earliest stages of survival. Actually, basically, when they introduced survival, I started playing nothing but survival. And I died a lot. I died a lot. See, things that most people die a lot to today, but I just happen to have the advantage of dying here you know, to it a thousand times before any of you kids heard about the game. So back before they, back before Infdev was, I just might have been after Infdev, it was back when they had the boat selectors and the crowds or creators on the screen, and you could make a few blind different varieties of worlds. And it just rides the world, so there was nothing. There was a hell world. You just spawned in a place with a touch of love and not a whole lot of anything else. And there was a tree. You had to go get a tree, and you could either make underwater uh, tree far, underground tree farms or have a tree on top of your house, which I commonly think it was a lot easier to have a tree on top of your house. And so, Back before stab blocks, you would not just, uh, I'd just jump up to the blocks and jump up to the top of my house. And there was always mobs, mobs constantly spawning day and night. Well, there was, it was always night outside in this mode. And it, there was, since it was always night, there was always mobs. There was a lake of mobs outside to try to kill you while you harvested your tree. Or your tree. And, and you did a lot. You, you made your wood stretch as far as you could because you only had like three trees. And this was all before stair blocks or redstone or armor or enchants. Any of that. You, had, uh, you, had, you still had the machine gun bow. Bows used to be machine gun type things. And you, you could just fire as many arrows as you wanted. As long as you had the arrows, you could click it like a machine gun. And da, 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 da. It was really fun. It was a really good weapon. You could, you could shoot a lot of arrows really fast. I shot a lot of arrows and a lot of stuff, but you kids wouldn't know nothing about that because you, you didn't serve in the Civil War. Minecraft Civil War. The Battle of Blockiesburg. Where the Southern Confederates, under final charge, counted a fence from a picked apart after the cavalry was routed. That's what happened at, at uh, Gettysburg. And now we're done with the tales of old timey Minecraft. Since we're almost at 10 minutes, I'm just gonna cut now. Hope you enjoyed the game, kids! Yeah, yeah, I'm old.
Kids of the Waterloo.